Ian, I don't know what you're doing, but you're making a big fool of yourself, your family, and everybody else who's chosen to support Creator Clash. Back in the day, this Ian fella right here used to call people out for being whiny little pussies on the internet. And look who's turned into the whiniest, biggest pussy of them all. If you guys don't know, a couple years ago he released a couple of videos that were pretty highly regarded around YouTube. One of them being Ice Cream Man, and the first one being Full Force. So, in these videos, he proceeded to get in contact with these other YouTubers, who were a little odd, a little bit different, and uh, he kind of kind of made fun of them, for the most part, and uh, under the pretense of, no, 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 we're just going to shoot a documentary, and um, it's going to be uh, good for both of our channels, it's going to bring you a lot of attention and stuff, you know, I'm a big YouTuber, big guy, big name here. Anyways, he makes fun of these guys over the course of an hour each for the most part and posts it online and everybody's like, oh wow, you know, they got a lot of exposure, but to their credit, both of them have taken it both in their stride. They've continued on to improve their career, they've got bigger and better things going on, and it kind of helped them improve, but IDUB was punking them the entire time, and we all know that. Well, it comes time that IDUBS wants to go ahead and do the same to Sam Hyde. Now, <laughs> Not many of us knew who Sam Hyde was before iDubs had any idea, or before iDubs had even talked about him. So I guess what happened was he goes to where Sam Hyde's from and proceeds to try to make another gotcha video on him, documentary style thing where he punks him and makes fun of him behind the scenes under the pretense of, no, no, I'm just gonna make a documentary. Well, Sam is cognizant of this whole situation, so he decides to say, you know what, screw it, screw you, I, I'm going to mess with you back. And that's typically Sam Hyde's type of comedy as well, so it should have been seen coming. Well, Sam proceeds to go through with it and punk iDubs. iDubs gets mad and doesn't release the video. Sam continues to ask, hey, can I release my version of the video? iDubs doesn't respond, so Sam says, you know what, screw it, I'm going to release my version of the video. Idubs is like, fine, whatever, you know, he releases his version of the video and stuff like that where he gets punked and all this other stuff and he's all butthurt. The butthurt seems to be going on to this day. Idubs didn't like getting punked by Sam Hyde, so fast forward to Creator Clash. Creator Clash was a huge success for everybody involved, especially the charities that were being donated to. Raised over a million dollars for charity. Awesome, awesome show. However, Sam Hyde spent $10,000 for him and his crew to sit front row at Creator Clash. It turns out that Ian, iDubs, and his wife, Anissa, had both given all their security guards for the event a picture of Sam Hyde and said, don't let this guy in. Their reasoning? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Ian's just really butthurt still to this day. So Sam shows up. He wants to go in, he can't go in, he's told that he's banned from the event, and Ian and Anissa come out and say, well, we just don't want to be associated with a guy like that. Bullshit. Ian, you're being a little pussy. All you were was afraid that Sam Hyde was going to show up to your event and have a great time and be shown in your audience. You just banned him because it was your event, and you thought, well, he punked me, so I'm not going to let him join. I'm the guy in charge. Yeah, it's pretty disgraceful. So now Sam's upset. He gets his 10 grand back. It was all gonna go to charity in the first place. Sam comes out against iDubs and starts talking about Anissa and everything like that. It's a whole thing. It just makes no sense to anybody. But, you know, it just keeps going on. The controversy is just so much. So now, fast forward to Creator Clash 2. And we have incoming Froggy Fresh a YouTuber who had been around back in 2012 very prevalently. Nobody could understand whether he was doing a facade, an act, or anything with his music that he was making, but we all loved it. It was hilarious. And uh, so Froggy Fresh has been kind of missing from the internet for a little while. He comes back. He's announced on the roster for Creator Clash 2. Everybody's excited to see him. And uh, he announces that... Um, He's going to be working with Sam Hyde to improve his boxing skills and being trained by Sam Hyde. Now, Sam Hyde trained somebody for Creator Clash 1, and that person won his round. So, of course, you're going to want to be trained by a guy who trains winners. Sam Hyde comes out, creates a tweet about it. Immediately, iDubs turns around and goes, 
hey, uh, Froggy, uh, you're really working with Sam Hyde? Froggy said, yeah. And, uh, yeah, so I don't think that's the greatest idea. Uh, I, I really don't like Sam Hyde. Well, what does that got to do with me? Froggy asks. And Ian just kind of says, well, you know, I, I just, nah, nah, man. And Froggy goes, well, are you going to stop me from joining? Are you going to take me off the roster if I work with Sam Hyde? And Idebs kind of just says, you do what you want, bro. So Froggy continues to work with Sam Hyde. Then it all comes out that Froggy has been taken off the roster. Why? Well, they won't explain it. So it's all a bunch of really stupid bullshit between the two of them. And it's all over this Sam Hyde character. It seems that, you know, Idubs has moved beyond what he was doing in the first place and is now the person he sought to delete from the internet. Here's the infamous clip from Faraki's Twitter that seems to be the reason why he got taken away from Creator Clash, according to Idebs and Anissa. I'll let it play. There seems to be substantial evidence that Chris Raybone is now on Adderall. Billy on the hand. Amphetamines couldn't save Hitler, and they can't save you either. On April 15th, if I don't hurt you, beyond what anybody could have imagined, I will be so disappointed in myself that I will subscribe to Anissa's OnlyFans. Did you catch it? Did you see that? The last little bit. Subscribing to Anissa's OnlyFans. This has been brought up by a bunch of creators before this, but Anissa's OnlyFans is not a secret. Idubs even, it, he talked about it in a video. I made a whole video about it a couple of years ago. So this seems to be the issue that's bugging both of them, that he said this. Now, in the video, he kind of looks up above the camera, almost like he's looking at somebody else, wondering if he should say what he's about to say. And it seems like they either egged him on or he was just taking a moment to think and there was actually nobody else there. But he says it. Now, it's just a funny joke. It's fine. This is just banter back and forth. Look, every other boxing match that's ever been had has had trash talk between two people that are getting ready to be faced off in the ring. This is it. That's all it is. It's no big deal. And yet, it hurt Ian's feelings. Poor guy. Well, guess what, Ian? You're being a little girl about this, man. You're being just a, I've said it before, a pussy. Get over yourself, man. Quit being the joke police, like you said other people were, that you hated. And grow up, grow a pair, reinstate Froggy, let's get Creator Clash 2 done for charity, and just get over it, man. You're totally fine. Keep doing what you've been doing. Make good content again. How about that? And stop letting your girlfriend run your life. I'm sorry, your wife run your life. People have been calling her Yoko Ono across the internet, and you know what? It's true, man. You're breaking up the band, Yoko. Leave Ian alone. Ian, grow a pair. And Anissa's mom started talking bad about Froggy online. You know what? Get out of here, too. You have no say in any of this stuff. Leave. Who are you, even? Goodbye? <laughs> That's all I gotta say, guys. Thanks for watching, Ian. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bogart out.